Yeah, I think the general consensus would be that everyone is definitely going to be happy to see the sun because it's just been a cloudy, cold week here in the Delta. And as you can see on our radar, the clouds are finally beginning to thin out across the northern half of Mississippi as drier air filters in from the north. High pressure going to begin to slide off to the east. It's going to control our weather the next two days, keeping us dry. But if you recall, we had a few snow flurries yesterday across the Delta. This has blossomed into a major snowstorm across portions of the northeast, a classic nor'east or some locations of an interior New York and southern New England saw as much as 40 inches of snow. And here's some of the more impressive totals. Again, look at that 41 inches of snow into interior New York, Litchfield, Pennsylvania, 40 inches, Philadelphia and most of the big cities got anywhere from 6 to 12 inches, which is still a lot of snow, a lot more than we saw. We just had some flurries and today no snow here in the Delta. In fact, we're not expecting any precipitation across much of the southeast. Temperatures are cold, especially to our north, where skies actually cleared overnight. Little Rock, Fayetteville in the mid 20s, 29 now in Memphis and across the Delta. We're right at freezing from Greenwood to Clarksdale. The northern half of the state a little bit colder. Tunica and Oxford at 28. So when you get those clear skies at night, often temperatures drop quicker. The clouds kind of insulate us. That's why we're still in the mid 30s here in Greenville. But again, it's still a cold morning. So as you're heading out the door, be sure to grab that heavy jacket, your toboggan or beanie, and you might want a hot coffee or hot chocolate this morning to warm you up on your way out to work or school or wherever you may be going. And it's really not going to be a warm day. High temperatures only going to top out in the mid to upper 40s at best. But one thing is for certain, we're going to be clear. High pressure slides across the southeast. And as we go into the afternoon, we're looking at sunshine mid 40s by tomorrow morning below freezing widespread frost. This high pressure is going to slide off to our east. That's going to allow some southeasterly flow to return. That's going to help to warm us into the 50s as we we go into Friday afternoon, but we're going to start to see the clouds build back in Friday night and by Saturday another round of rain and maybe a thunderstorm or two could roll through. No severe weather expected with this. We're just not going to have the ingredients there. This is going to be a pretty quickly moving system, however, and by Saturday night into early Sunday, things clear out. We have cooler air move back in, but again, this isn't going to be a significant cold air maker, but again, we will dry back out as we go into Sunday and rain totals projected through Saturday night, generally around a half of an inch here in the Delta. So it's not going to be a washout, but if you're traveling throughout the day on Saturday, keep in mind wet roadways are going to be out there. So just go slow and use caution as you're heading out this week. And as for our temperature trend, though, 54 is now our high temperature and really through this weekend, we're going to be pretty close to that. Saturday, we may not even hit the 50s. We may stay in the 40s depending on the rain and the placement of the warm front. But as we go into next week, it looks likely that we'll hit the 60s. Now, it's not going to last too long. It looks like we're trending below average for much of the East Coast here in the Delta. We're sandwiched in between the percentage of above average and below average. So again, it does look like models are starting to indicate there could be a major cold front coming right as we go into Christmas. So we're going to track that closely over the next couple of days. Doesn't like any snow or rains in the forecast for Christmas Day. So white Christmas looking very unlikely here in the Delta, but again, still several days out. So we'll continue to keep you updated. But for today, we're looking at sunshine later on 46 mid 40s along much of the I 55 corridor, a little bit warmer off to the west tonight. Lows of 30 back below freezing, mostly clear frost likely and some locations, especially north and into the eastern part of Mississippi could drop into the 20s. Carrollton Batesville at 29, so another cold start to our Friday, but hey, we're going to hit the 50s, so not so bad. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds with clouds increasing Friday night and then going into Saturday. Another round of rain before we get those warmer temperatures as we head into next week, so that's something to look forward to, Bryce.